Okay, so here's this brick wall that was originally all covered with plaster that looked like this. So you get a close up of the plaster. It was pretty thick plaster. You can see there's several layers. So it's very, very thick plaster. It's been it's at least about well, at least 50 years old. And um, so we wanted to remove this. We really searched YouTube, uh, struggled. We found all sorts of uh, heavy duty tools that we saw people using. We saw, uh, you know, we were given all these tools we were supposed to buy and rent, but they were extremely heavy and it would have been very, very hard to do a nine foot wall. At the end of the day, we managed to do this entire wall, 40 feet long and uh, nine feet tall using this tool here. Uh, the great thing about it is it protects your hands from getting hurt. This and a hammer. And we used two of these. It took us all of 10 hours to do a wall, again, 40 foot long and uh, nine feet wide. We just have a little section left there, but we're putting a closet there so we don't need to remove that. Uh, once we finished, you can see how sandy and dusty it looks. We wanted to get some of the natural wood back. After our research, we found that we could use muriatic acid. Can I tell them? We uh, searched and searched and searched. Nobody could help us at Home Depot. Eventually, though, we found a masonry company. So if you find a masonry supply company, they have product that allows you to put on, as you can see here, we just, we're just putting it on right now. And it's got a five minute dwell time. This is what it looks like after five minutes. So it's got a really, I mean, look at the difference of both before and after. Um, so it really cleans it up. <clears throat> we still have to put another coat. Um, and the name of the product is One Restore Everything. But there are several of these, and they're way, way safer than muriatic acid, and uh, it was absolutely no effort. And as far as the application, uh, we're using a, a brush. You should wear goggles, and just putting it on that way. Caroline, show them any techniques. Mm -hmm. Just brush back and forth, nice and lightly. Sure, it gets nice and moist. Not. Get some pieces to fall off. You might even want to use a roller. I thought about that. Yeah, we were, uh, the, the instructions say that you should use a spray, but you know, we were also doing the floors. We didn't want to damage the floors and didn't want to mess. Uh, so, and you know, it's not a basement, it's an upper floor, so we used a brush, but, uh, but yeah, I'm sure you could use a roller, because the idea is not, it's just really to get it on there, let it sit for five minutes, um, maybe do a second coat if you need, and then uh, just, just clean it off with water. So, uh, that's, that's where we are so far, and uh, it took us a total of 10 hours to do the entire wall with, a, with this chisel, with this chisel and hammer. So once you get going, the first, first uh, two or three feet were really, really difficult, but once you get going, you get a technique and it just goes really, really fast. All right.